In this video, I want to talk about SMTP authentication. The goal of the script is to automatically remind people their password is expiring with as little input from the administrator as possible. If you find you need to enter credentials to send a message, then the script becomes less automated. The trade-off, of course, is that storing a credential in any form is not the best practice from a security point of view, and it's why I've not been that keen to promote doing so. However, I do get a lot of questions about how to do it, especially with people that have moved to services like Office 365, and I've decided that you're all big enough to make your own decisions about storing credentials. So with that in mind, uh, the first thing you want to do is run a PowerShell window in the context of the service account that you run the script as. To do that, just hold Shift and then right click the PowerShell button and click on Run as Different User. It should ask you to log in, so we want to log in as our Reminder user. So once PowerShell is loaded, you can type in who am I, and that will show us that we're running under the context of our password reminder user. Now we're going to store a credential file and we want to save that in our scripts folder. Uh, before we do that, we would just want to lock down the NTFS permissions on that folder uh, as much as we can. So we'll disable inheritance and then we'll remove the users from that. So the only people allowed to access this folder are the administrator and uh, we'll remove the authenticated users as well. So it's just the administrator and the password reminder user. Go back to our PowerShell window now. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll enter in a path, store that, and this is gonna be the file that we're gonna save our password into. Uh, so that can be smtp.txt. Now we're gonna use uh, something called read host, which allows us to type in our password. Uh, we're gonna tell it it's a secure string and that will obscure the password so that when we type it in you'll just see uh, the dots. Then we need to just pipe that to convert from hyphen secure string. And then we'll pipe that out to out file and give it the path that we've entered. So now what we need to do is enter the password for our SMTP server, not our domain user if they're different. Now that we've done that, if we refresh that, we can see our SMTP file is there. If we open that, we'll see that the uh, password we've entered has been encrypted there. PowerShell encrypts the credentials so that they can only be used on the machine they were encrypted on and by the same user who encrypted them. So now we've uh, created the credentials, we just need to edit the script to make use of them. So if we open up uh, PowerShell editor. So now we need to tell PowerShell to create a credential object. Uh, and to do that, we need to import the credential we just saved, add a username, and then we edit the send mail message command to tell it to use the credential. So if we scroll down a bit, just past the system settings, what we can do is comment there, we're going to import credential. We're going to tell it to get the content of our uh, scripts file that we created. Convert that back to a secure string. that and the username that we're going to use and then we'll create our credential which is uh, a custom object and we give it the username and the password now if we come down to where we've got send mail message and we simply add in hyphen credential and the credential object and if we've got any other send mail message lines, which I think we do, do the same. So if we run that uh, schedule task now, we should see a log file generated in a moment, showing us whether those emails were sent or not. And that is how you use SMTP credentials.